Hello and welcome to my very special Flash Cube episode, my 2020 Whip Parade. It's a lot. <laughs> well, not as much as I have seen with other uh, stitchers, but for me it's a lot and I'm really excited to see uh, what I've done this year, uh, how far my projects are, and along the way I will share my uh, plans for next year. Um, but first, my son started his first stitching project <laughs> and I wanted to share it. Um, he is five and he is very dedicated to doing his stitching every day. Um, but he will only do like two or three stitches and he will be over. But he, he is so happy with his progress every day. So I think it's so cute. Um, he is stitching this little kit. In here were the uh, flosses. And it's a cute duck. Um, and it's on uh, 14 count printed Ada. So um, this is what he has done so far. First he did a strain of green. And now he's working on the bright orange. And it's so cute. <laughs> and... Um, I love how he copies how I stitch because he wants to have his um, uh, the image, the example next to him so he can see what he has to do. And um, he treats it, it as his pattern and he will use this. <laughs> and it's so cute and I'm so happy he started stitching. So. Um, if he continues working on it and he uh, has a little bit more done, I will share his progress again. But that's very excited for me because uh, it's so cute to see him enjoying the same hobby. And uh, I wanted to share that with you. So um, without further ado, I will start showing my whips. Um, if I shared the same project on my whip rate of last year, I will insert a picture over there. I have a big, big pile of whips sitting here next to me. And let me see if I can show you. It's a lot. <laughs> so, yes. Um, I will show them in order. Uh, oldest whip first. And um, yeah, the first one in this bag. I will put him back uh, as I go because otherwise it's a big mess. Um, this is not only my oldest project, but it's my largest project. Uh, it's King Coda Storyteller, uh, charted by Haid. And um, there's still a string <laughs> connected to it. Um, So this is what he looks now. I forgot. I will first show you what it will look like and where it was last year. So um, yeah, again. <laughs> and I did all the way to the bottom and I thought I only worked a little bit on his face this year. But when I saw the picture, I realized I also worked some on this part. Not a lot, but there is more. <laughs> and I'm in love with his face. It's beautiful, but it's also huge. I worked a lot on uh, his nose and this portion of his face this year. And I only did about 2% this year. And I'm a little bit embarrassed about it because it was my most favorite project. And with starting all the other hates or restarting most of them, um, it didn't get the time it deserves. So next year will be my... Uh, full coverage here and I will uh, tell more of that in plans 
but um, this definitely is one of them. So next up, it's another hate, and it's Den the Mouseling by M. Stewart, I think. I don't have my notes with me, only the names of the whips, so if I don't know the name, I will put it in somewhere else. Um, this is what it will look like and what it looked like last year. And in the meantime, I restarted it. And at least I think I did. I don't know. Maybe I did. I don't know. I will check. But this is what it looks like at the moment. And there's not a lot to see yet. Um, first there will be the flower of the dandelion and then somewhere around here will start the mouse. And it's quite long. <laughs> but um, I'm excited to get more of it done. And hopefully um, next year I will at least have the first row done. It's not one of my uh, top priorities, but... I love the project, uh, the end project, so um, I hope to get further along with it. Then, another hate, and it's actually one I've been working on quite a lot the last week. Um, it's Universe in a Jar by Randall Spengler, also a hate, I will show it here. Um, last year, I uh, this is one I definitely restarted, because this is what it looked like last year. And I stitched it on 20 count with two stra strands. And it was too bulky. I didn't like it. Um, I definitely had a lot of trouble with the window. Because uh, the stars are just a lot of confetti. <laughs> and starting and ending threads. And the rest is just one big color. And I, I just didn't like it. And I want to do a page finish this year. And I'm going to make it. But first, let me show you how far I am. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, this little part here is the only thing left for a page finish. That ends. Do you see those missing stitches? Those are on the page below. And also around here. So this is also on a new page. But um, I showed my son this stitching and he was like, oh, I really like the, the marble and all the green and all the colors. And um, I started on those and it made me want to work on the project more because I could finally see more than just the endless window. <laughs> so uh, this will definitely have a page finish in tonight because I think it's just one or two strands and it will be done while the page and I don't know if I'm going to work in it more this year but it's definitely a possibility so love the progress and also this one is very big <laughs> so I will put it down Um, then, a nun hate. This is my oldest nun full coverage project. And it is Stitching in Quilt by Core et Batikor. And my picture is a bit damaged, so I will put in a picture of what it will look like. And I think I had this last year yes so there also will be a picture of what it looked like last year and i did some work on it this year but not a huge amount so here is what it looks now like now i finished this block this year and the block on the bottom it will contain a house and um, 
two of those flower pots with strawberries. It's very cute. So I want to uh, get a lot on this done this year because um, I think this is the... No, it's not only 2018, 2019. 2019 project and I want to try and focus I'm not going to finish them all oh. but I want to focus on my oldest whips um, because they deserve it so next up is also a 2019 project I haven't worked a lot on uh, this year and I will show a picture what it will look like and how it looked last year and this is one giant leap by maria diaz and i'm stitching this on 20 count no 16 count black ada and compared to the picture of last year you won't see a lot of difference because there isn't a lot i did some of uh, the did I do that? I don't know. I finished uh, a little bit of the outer blue over here. And there are some very dark blue stitches over here. I went up a little bit with this blue. And um, yeah, the pattern is really hard to read. And that is what keeps me from working on it. So... Um, I will try and make a picture of it and put it into Pattern Keeper if it works. Otherwise, I have to enlarge it and print it off because the pattern isn't fun. <laughs> so, next up, another one I uh, worked on last year. So, here's a picture of what it will look like and what it was uh, last year. It's called a uh, dinosaur ABC or dino ABC. And this is how far I am at the moment. It will be for my kids and they both have the same initials uh, J and S. So I will put them in, in red. Um, I have a lot of extra fabric, but I think I only need this one, this part. But um, yeah, this also is... What is it? 18 count? I don't really like the bulkiness of the stitches, but it's it's okay. It's called Vintage Beige, and it's one of the uh, printed uh, fabric, because it's just beige at the back. Um, so I will try and finish this this year. This was my last 2019 uh, project, so the rest is all from this year. It's a lot. <laughs> the first one is one I'm not really sure I will continue working on. Um, it's the 2020 Mystery Sampler by Linen and Threads. And I'm stitching this on 32 count Murano using DMC 115 and I'm doing it one over one so it's really teeny tiny and when I look at it I love how it looks I love it but concentrating on working on the one over one I'm not sure but Oh, it's so cute and so tiny and I won't put it away yet, but I'm not sure how much I will work on it the coming year. Then it's time for another hate. Uh, one I'm stitching for my daughter. Um, it's on, uh, I will put in a picture and I worked on it since, no, I didn't work, I don't know if I worked on it since my last update, but uh, I have a page finish, finally, 
and I don't I don't remember if it was before or after the last um, update. And it's so beautiful. And this one will be my focus piece for next year because I want to try and finish it. And this is actually about 20%. So it's not really big. This is the whole width of the project. And uh, also almost, uh, I think this is the halfway point. So um, yeah. The most of the confetti was over here in the butterfly and I think the hair and the face will go quite fast. And there will be another butterfly um, somewhere here. <laughs> um, I think it will be a quick stitch. It's called quick stitch so it has to be right. <laughs> so um, yeah this is first page well actually it went to about here ish and here so it's uh it's over a page sorry if that was really loud um then another project this was one i thought Oh, it will be a quick stitch, <laughs> but it wasn't. Um, it's Spring Fling by Brenda Gervais. And this is on 20 count hand dyed pink fabric, bright pink. And I am quite some uh, in it. So I have to finish the bunny, a little more flowers. There will be uh, two birds, I think. Um, I have to figure out the colors of the birds, but first, um, yeah, I can do a lot more on it. That's actually quite true, true to color. And I will stitch more on this uh, during spring and summer. And yeah. What's up next? This is a kit by Dimensions and it's called Chickadees in Spring. This is what it will look like when it's done. Sorry for the glare. And somewhere on this I made a mistake. So I have to figure out where it is and how to fix it. This is how far I am. This is 14 count light blue Ada and there are Half stitches, full stitches, stitches with three strands, with two, with one. So um, I have to figure out where the problem is, but I love the colors. The purples, the pinks, on the light blue, it's just a fun project. So I have to go and sit down and figure out where the problem is. So a job for another day. What's up next? Let me check my whip list. Um, this one doesn't fit in, in the um, project bag. This is um, The Robin's Fairy by Nimue. Yeah, there it is. And this will be a gift for my mom when it's done and I will try and finish this in the next months. So this will be one of my focus projects for the beginning of the year. And this is how far I am. I really love the colors. I worked on it a little bit the last time and I finished his, uh, his belly. And now I'm working on his tail a little bit. So this is on 32 count cream Murano and it's all the code for DMC. So um, you will see more of this in the coming months. Sorry for the crinkling. Then I think we're quite halfway 
ish. <laughs> um, this one is my absolute favorite of the last months, weeks, months. <laughs> and it's Fox by Lenart. This is what it will look like when it's done. And I did quite a lot on it after my last filming. And this is how far I am now. And this was actually my goal for the end of the year. Um, so um, if you can see over here is the end of the project. So I will work from the top down and continue in uh, the lower half. But that will be quite a quick stitch because um, the gray will go over in like beige colors or really light and I think it's only three or four colors and not a lot of confetti but it looks so real and so good and I absolutely can't wait to finish this and put it up on my wall <laughs> so for now it's going back Um, then the next project is one I barely, barely worked on last year. And it is called The Way to Happiness. And I think it's by Jardin Privé. And it was a freebie from their website. I will try and link it um, down below. And I'm using this beautiful thread keep with a sleeping fox. Um, these are some of the colors and I am needing uh, some other colors and these will probably be in here as well. Uh, this is Moon brand. Um, I don't know where you can get it. Um, but it's similar quality to DMC, only the numbering is really different. So um, I will have put in a picture of what it will look like when it's done and here is my start <laughs> the woo so it's really sad <laughs> and it's going to be long it's like whoop, all the way down and this is also the vintage beige uh, printed fabric um, the same as dinosaur abc and I want to work more on it, but it's not a priority. But I want to work more on it. <laughs> so, yeah. What's up next? Ooh, a big one. It's the uh, last hate I'm going to show you uh, today. And it's one I haven't worked on in a while because I wanted to do the um, page finishes on King Coda, April Fairy and um, Universe in a Jar. And this one just had a page finish. So this is Princess Asleep by Yvonne Gilbert, I think, also charted by Hate. And this is how far I am. And it's so pretty. I hope it's focusing. And I love the detail. This is just a regular colors uh, version. Um, with one thread on 20 count Ada. And oh, there it is. It's so pretty. And I... Can't wait to work more on this one as well for the upcoming year. Um, this is also quite a big project, but it's so much fun. So I will put it down as well. Um, then there is a teeny tiny project. Also 32 count 1 over 1. I started because I wanted to gift it to my son. And I never finished it. So I really have to uh, 
finish it so he can wear it on his backpack when he's going back to school after our lockdown. Um, we're back in a full lockdown and uh, schools are closed longer than they supposed to be. Um, we have um, a vacation now for schools and normally the kids would go back to school on the 3rd but now it can be after the 18th so um, yeah I have to finish this one and it's Brunchosaurus and it's by Doreen Jones and I only have to do his head that's the only thing left so yeah this is going on the top of my list to finish because it's terrible. I have to find out where the pattern is, but yeah, terrible, terrible. <sighs> then on to another project in my beautiful bag of so much to love and oh, thanks again, Stacy. I'm so happy with this. Um, in here, some of you might, know, may, might know what is in here, but it's Pandemic by Long Dog Stitchers, uh, Samplers, Long Dog Samplers, and um, I also work more on this one after my last video, I think. Um, yeah, I think this is 10% and a bit. And it's so pretty. I love the colors. So, um, I don't know if I will add extra colors. Maybe I will if I need it, but I love the balance between blue and purple and pinks, reds. There will be more red in it as well, but yeah, I love playing with the colors. So, also one to focus on next year, even though it's not a full coverage, but I can't wait. Then what's up next? Only a few left. Um, it's this one and it's in a good fiber um, bag. And here is the, fr the cover. It's Spring Fairy by a lady stitch and she is so so pretty um it's a kit but i subbed out the fabric because um i don't know where what it came with i think it came with 16 count yeah and i'm using 20 count and this is how far i am you can see here a start of the wing and here's the bird it needs some backstitch but um, the most boring part um, as you can see kind of sorry for the glare there it is the most boring part is done it's this side <laughs> oh so um yeah, I love it. And this will also be a focus one for next year. So. Then there is a project that put me quite outside of my comfort zone. Words. Outside of my comfort zone. And it's a sampler. It's a reproduction sampler I found in an old magazine. And um, this is what it will look like. And it doesn't stay uh, a designer or anything. Um, the name on it is Wilhelmina Verschoor. And it's from, I don't know the year. <laughs> I don't know. I'm stitching this on 20 count tea dyed Ada with the cold for DMCs and I know I promised the last time to iron it but I didn't so here it is and 
there are some really light colors. Maybe you can see it over here. That are quite similar to the fabric. Um, but I want to finish this coming here. And um, I love it. It's cute. not going <laughs> it's not going back so then next up it's a uh, bird in hand by blackbird design this is what it will look like And I'm also stitching this one over one on 32 count. And um, I don't know the color I'm using. It's 3750. I love this color. And this is how far I am. It's on 32 count Latino Murano. And even though I love how tiny it is, I will restart it over two. Because I'm just not picking it up because it's this small. I like the look. I hate working on it. So I have more than enough fabric left. And um, yeah, I will restart it the next time I will pick it up. In here is one I've been working on a lot over the last weeks. A lot. Um, I received some stitchy kindness from uh, Alice a couple of uh, weeks ago. Hi Alice. And it's been folded, but um, <laughs> there it is. It's Where There Are Bees by the Prairie Schooler. And I changed up the colors a little bit. I will take it out of the hoop to show you. <laughs> my my hoop is uh, hanging on my thread. Sorry. Um. So here it is. I came all the way down to the bottom. I finished all the five um, rounds and now I'm working on um, the sides and the border. There will be two crowns on each side and then there will be the large B skip with, um, I think it's a letter B underneath, yeah. So the B skip is left. and. Oh, it's so cute. And Alice FFO'd hers um, last week. And she showed it. And I was like, oh, I love the blue in uh, the way she framed it. I love how it uh, picks up the blues. So I'm trying to finish this this year. I'm not sure, but we will see. And... Um, Hopefully it's a finish when I show it the next time. Then, two left. This is an exciting one. Because, let me go, see if different. <laughs> um, this is one I'm stitching with some of my friends. My Dear sweet stitchy friends, the Stitch Kateers. Um, we're doing a blue flower cell, and this is quilting bee. And it's stunning. And what makes it even more special is um, I'm using fabric that Debbie uh, Debbie dyed herself. It's called Honeybee. And it's stunning. It's a 32 count Murano and 
let's see where it is this is how far i am at the moment um the last time i had uh one done in old purple paint and one in the raspberry and i changed them both to raspberry i finished this thingy <laughs> and i used the old purple paint for the bee and i love how it looks I love the subtle, subtle brown, but it's a warm brown, and um, yeah. Uh, Jemima, the rocking stitcher, Lydia, uh, lovely stitches, and Alice are stitching the same one, and Debbie is stitching Huckleberry Farm. And um, the fabric is just gorgeous. I don't know when, but uh, Debbie will dye more fabrics and she puts them up on, the, on her Instagram so um, keep an eye out for that because her fabrics are stunning <clears throat> and I'm not really using the call force for this one but um, I will try and figure out a way to document my um, my conversions so, um, if I have somewhere next year, um, I will share that with you. So, up next. This is one that has the least stitches of my uh, whips. And it's this beautiful kit. Um, if you watched my last update, um, I gave a subtle hint to my husband. I really like this one. And if you wanted to give me something just because, this would be something I like. And uh, I, I never do this because I never ask for anything like that. And um, he bought it for me. And it was so sweet. And I made a start on it. Just because I couldn't wait, but um, it will come out more next year. And I don't even know it's if it's this way or this way. <laughs> I think it's this way. But it's just a couple of white stitches. And I don't know. <laughs> so um, definitely will work more in it. In the coming year. So, sorry for all the crinkling. Then there's only one whip left, and it's a new start. Yay! <laughs> um. I'm still missing some of the colors, so that is why I only worked in it for about an hour, I think. And it's this one. And it's so cute. It's by Seabrusha. And I will link her Etsy down below. There, she has a lot more uh, animals like this. This is the leopard boy. I think she also has a leopard girl. Um, she has a zebra, a giraffe, just all different cute baby animals. And I'm stitching this on 20 count Ada. And I worked on this black part and some of the mouth. So um, there's not a lot, of, lot to see yet. But um, yeah. <laughs> This will be a birth gift for uh, my friend. She just had a son and I didn't know what to stitch. Was that a needle? Yeah, found it. I didn't know what to stitch for him. And when the birth announcement came, um, I just knew it had to be this one. I ordered all the missing colors. And I think they will be here, I don't know, 
post is crazy busy um, not only because of all the Christmas cards but also uh, since we're in a new lockdown everyone is ordering online uh, all the shops are closed only essential shops are open like a grocery store or uh, the pharmacy uh, things like that and all the other stores are closed and we never had this before in the previous lockdown so um, everyone is ordering online and normally um, if it ships on Monday it will be here the next day and um, we're almost a week further and I still don't have it I know it's somewhere and I will wait um, but it's hard because uh, next to the um, flosses for that project there will also be the missing colors for my new year new start and um, I will show a picture here it's Bonded by the Rain by Leonid Avrimov and I can't wait to start it I have the fabric um, 20 count Ada I'm doing it one over one uh, I found out that's my favorite way of doing full coverages and this also brings me into plans because um, next to my new year new start it's a full coverage and that's also what the new year will be for me a full coverage year because I know not everyone agrees with this but I think it's so relaxing to stage full coverage I don't have to count I don't have to worry I kind of follow where I've already stitched I don't go too far out and I just let the colors flow just do a couple of strands and something new shows up and I just love that and sometimes I think uh, I've worked a lot on it but I don't see any progress and then I look back at my pictures um, from just a few days ago and I say wow did I do all of that <laughs> and it's so nice to see the projects grow also I want to focus on my 2019 projects because I want to get them done and I will try to buy to not to start a lot of new projects it's going to be hard because I love my new projects <laughs> And without new projects, there will be a day I don't have anything to stitch. So I might start some, but I don't want to gain more whips than I have now. So maybe I will um, put a new rule in to finish to start one. So um, the number of whips, I, don't, I know it's not that much compared to other ones, but it's starting to overwhelm. And there will be a new start for my new year start so yeah we will see we will see for now uh, it will be just a sweet wee year stitch what i want when i want uh, april fairy will be a finish focus finish um a couple of us the stitch kateers but also i think Jessie Marie and a couple of others are going to try and finish a hate and I forgot the hashtag so I'll put it up here and also um, it will just be full coverage focus 2021 so yeah I, c I can't wait to show you all the full coverage stitching next year and I'm also very excited to see what all of you are stitching on so let me know if you have a flush tube or an Instagram where I can follow you because I love everyone's updates. Mm, also, I want to thank everyone for commenting, uh, liking, subscribing. I know I'm really bad with commenting back on all the comments, uh, but I always read them and give them a heart because it, I really appreciate them and I will try and um, respond to everyone. Um, also, I'm thinking about it now, I did a um, giveaway in my last video. I will grab them and get back with the winners. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. That took a while. Um, I had to uh, write down all the names, do random 
number generator on my phone, uh, which I can't show because I'm filming on it. But um, I will show you who won. I will put the names up in screen. I, I will show you uh, what it was. So the first one were these two uh, patterns by Files Stuff. And um, they are for Kitty Van Peer. So Kitty, if you want to um, message me through Instagram and mes message me your address, I will mail it to you. Then there were two other patterns, which were these. And they are for uh, Christy Martin. And uh, same for you message me through Instagram and then there was this one um, it was Burps and oh I hope I say your name correctly if I don't I'm so sorry you, you have a hard name a difficult name um, Kinga or Kinja Bridgie 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 I don't know <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm butchering your name <gasps> I'm sorry I will put it up there so, um, for all of you, please uh, contact me, uh, give me your address so I can send it to you. And I can't promise when I will be able to send it, because like I said, all necessary shops are closed. A uh, postal office uh, near me is still open, but I don't really like going in there. So if I can afford that, uh, I will. And um, otherwise, it will probably be close to New Year when I go in. But I hope you understand with the lockdown and post being like crazy. Um, just give me some time. So, um, yeah, this was it. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, thanks again for everyone who commented on my last videos or whenever um, I really like the comments um, please subscribe if you uh, want to see all my update updates for next year it's crazy the year's already over for me it somehow just feels like it's May or something <laughs> so I hope next year will be better um, I hope you all are safe are happy and are enjoying what you are doing, whether it is stitching, knitting, crocheting, painting, hiking, whatever. Just do what you enjoy, do what you love, and I will see you all in two weeks. Bye-bye.